we're going to look at how to find the area and the perimeter of shapes when we know the side lengths um, and they're given in polynomials. So you do have to remember some things about shapes but um, and area and perimeter. So remember that perimeter is along the outside of the shape, right? So it's the measurement of the length around the outside of whatever shape. And then the area um, is how much space is inside that space. Okay. So when we're looking at the area, remember we find the area of a square or a rectangle by doing length times width. So we also know that since it's a square that all four sides are the same. So we know all of these are four, 5x to the fourth y squared. So our length is 5x to the 4th y squared, and our width is also 5x to the 4th y squared. Okay. You could also choose to write this as 5x to the 4th y squared, and then that whole quantity squared, because it's being times by itself. Either way is fine. Regardless of which way you do it, you're going to do 5 times 5, or 5 squared, which gives you 25. If you have x to the 4th times x to the 4th, you add the exponents, so that's x to the 8th. Or when you have a power raised to a power, you're going to multiply the two of them, so we're going to do 4 times 2, which gives us the 8th. When we're multiplying, we add the exponents, so the 2 plus the 2. When we have a power raised to a power, we're going to multiply, so 2 times 2, which is 4. So then we get y to the 4th. So our area is that, and then it's in square units, whatever the units may be. Now the perimeter is just the side lengths added together. So our perimeter here is going to be the side plus the side plus the side plus the side. Now since it's a square, that's the same thing as saying 4 of the side. So you can do 4 times by 5x to the 4th y squared. So I just need to multiply the 4 times the 5 to get 20. So 20x to the 4th y squared. Okay. And then that's how we find that. Now on the next one, we don't have a picture. So I'm going to draw a picture. So we've got, this is a rectangle. If we want the perimeter and the area, it has a length of 6x minus 10 and a width of 4x plus 3. Okay. So remember the perimeter. When we're talking about the perimeter, we know on a rectangle, these two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. So I'm going to have two 6x minus 10s and two 4x plus 3. So I can do for our perimeter, 2 times 6x minus 10 plus 2 times 4x plus 3. So if we distribute our 2, that gives us 12x minus 20. And this 2 gets distributed to be 8x plus 6. And then we combine our like terms. So with the 12x and the 8x combine to give us 20x. And then we have the colors. The 20 and the 6, and it's negative 20, so negative 20 plus 6 is negative 14. So this is 20x minus 14. And your perimeter is just in units, which I neglected to put up here. So your perimeter is a linear length, and your area is um, in a square units. So here, if we find the area, Remember the area is length times width, so our length was 6x minus 10, and our width is 4x plus 3. Right. So I can multiply those, I can just use the arrows and do 6x, or the rainbows, or whatever you call them. 6x times 4x is 24x squared. Then 6x times 3 is 18x. Negative 10 times 4 is negative 40x and negative 10 times 3 is negative 30. Again, we have some like terms, so 18x minus 40, we're just going to add those two things uh, together, or if you want to think of it as subtracting, um, either way is fine, as long as you keep the 40 negative and the 18 positive. So when we do that, we get negative 22. So, oops, I'm in high letters. So 24x squared stays the same, minus 22x minus 30. So that becomes our area, and again, it's area, so it's units squared.
So this one, we have the perimeter of the triangle is the 12x minus 7. So remember, perimeter is talking about adding the side length. So we have this side length plus this side length plus this side length. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to color code them again. So we've got this side, this side, and this side. So that means that I can write my equation so that we've got x minus 8 plus the red side, which is the 8x plus 4 plus the gray side, but the gray side we don't know, so plus something. And then that equals the perimeter, but this time we know the perimeter. So our perimeter here is the 12x minus 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine like terms on each side. So we've got an x and an 8x, that gives us 9x. We have negative 8 plus 4, which gives us negative 4. And then we've got 12x minus 7, plus something still. Okay. So if I subtract the 9x to the other side, gives us 3x minus 7 equals negative 4 plus something. So I'm going to add the 4 to the other side because I'm wanting to know what this blank spot is. So I add the 4. So then we know that 3x and then negative 7 plus 4 gives us negative 3. So that will equal our blank. So that means that our gray side is the 3x minus 3. So, let's look at number 8. So it says, if the area of a rectangle with length 4x is 4x squared plus 12x, find the width. So uh, we've got our rectangle. This is 4x. And then, oh, it says length. So that's not an eraser. 4x. And then we know inside we have 4x squared plus 12x. So that means that we've got some width. So our area is length times width, and that equals our area. So we know the length is 4x. We don't know the width. And we know the area, which is 4x squared plus 12x. Okay. So here, if we want to get the w alone, to get the w alone, I need to undo timesing by 4x, so I'm going to divide by 4x. So I have 4x squared plus 12x divided by 4x. Okay. Now, if you don't remember, this is really saying 4x squared divided by 4x and 12x divided by 4x. So you're dividing each thing. So here on this one, one of the x's cancels with one of the x's here, and the 4 is reduced to a 1, so that leaves us with x. Here, 1 of the x's cancel, and then 12 divided by 4 gives us 3. So that means that our width is x plus 3. And then, let's try this one. NASA engineers are designing a mirror that will be attached to the side satellite. The mirror will be the shape of a polygon with four sides. The lengths of three of the sides are this, that, and the other. The perimeter of the mirror must be 12x plus 12. What does the length of the fourth side need to be? Right. So we have some four-sided figure. doesn't say exactly what it is, so I just am drawing four sides, and that's fine. So one of the sides is 2x plus 5. One of them is 6x minus 7. One of them is x minus 4. Now, notice that my side lengths may not match by measurement or by scale, but that's fine. So again, if we're finding perimeter, we're going all the way around. So I'm going to add all three of those sides. So 2x plus 5 plus 6x minus 7 plus x minus 4 plus something else, that side that we're missing, gives us the total amount of the perimeter. So 12x plus 12. So we're going to combine like terms on both sides. 
So we've got 2x and 6x and x. So 2 and 6 give us 8 plus 1 gives us 9x. And then we've got 5 and negative 7 and negative 4. So 5 minus 7 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 plus something equals 12x plus 12. There's no like terms on the right side. So now if we're trying to find the blank, I want to undo both the 9x and the negative 6. So I want to undo it with the opposite operation. So here I'm going to subtract to 9x. Here I'm going to add 6. So we get the blank equals 12x minus 9x, which is 3x, and 12 plus 6, which is 18. So that means that the fourth side is length 3x plus 18.